Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be learning how to integrate Cloudinary with our Backit Node.js application. Here is how it will work. Users will stream their files from their machine to our Node.js server and then will stream those files to the Cloudinary server. By streaming, we mean sending files in small chunks so let's start the video start by creating a new folder you can give any name for for this let's give cloudinary node backend open this folder and open it with your visual studio code like this for this make sure that you have visual studio code installed in your system First, we need to start by initializing our node project. For this, open terminal inside Visual Studio Code. And here, I am going to be using PNPM Package Manager. You can use any other package manager as you wish. Then you can simply type npm install pnpm minus g and it will install pnpm globally inside your system. After that, you can run pnpm init and it has just created a new package.json file here we want to write javascript es6 for that we need to make a change and use type to module now we are all done we need to also be adding some packages that we'll be using for this project so for this use pnpm install first will be express for creating our simple backend server Cloudinary for storing files inside Cloudinary storage dot env for hiding our secret keys and burst boy package for streaming files from user to our server and from our server to Cloudinary server just click on enter and it will install all the four packages now all the four packages are now installed let's start writing a very simple server here just create a new file index.js and here we are going to be writing a very simple express server first we'll be importing express from express and then we'll create an app called express and we'll use express.json because we are going to be passing json values inside our request to pass those we need to use express.json and then we'll just create a very simple root route when we send request to root route it will return hello from server and then we'll listen to port 3000 and we'll just print running on port 3000 after we start the server for running the server let's use nodemon if you don't have nodemon installed then you can simply install using npm like npm install minus g nodemon and it will install nodemon inside your system Currently, I have Nodemon installed, so I'll not do it. You just use Nodemon index.js and it will start running this server. Currently, it's running on port 3000. To access this port, to access this port, we need to visit localhost 3000 and now it's showing hello from server so in this way our server is running successfully in port 3000 now let's start writing the logic for uploading the files to the cloudinary server from our node.js application here we'll create one more folder let's name it as controllers here we'll be writing the cloudinary logic let's name it as cloudinary functions.js we should import our secret keys so for this just open cloudinary and create a new account if you don't have any account otherwise you can also log in with your existing account just log in now after you are logged in you will find it's giving us the option to integrate with node.js so for this we have already installed cloudinary using pnpm now we'll be requiring the api keys for that click on view api keys you will be requiring these three variables like the cloud name, API key and API secret. Just copy all of them. You will be creating another file. This will be our .env file. You will create a variable cloud in the cloud name and you will paste our cloud name and then we'll create two more variables. This will be our API key and this will be our secret key. Just replace the values now.
Now we have written our secret keys. Just create a .git ignore file and specify the node modules folder as well as the .env file. If you don't do this, then you might unintentionally release all your secret keys publicly. Now we can start writing the logic for our Cloudinary functions. Here it has given us an example that we need to first import Cloudinary. So we can just paste it here and we need to also configure it like this. So we can copy this configuration part from here and paste it. We need to also import this keys from our environment variable. Don't pass it statically. For this we need to import dot env from dot env and then we'll call dot env dot config and we need to replace this config with our secret keys like cloud name will be process dot env cloud name api key will be inside cloudinary api key and secret key will be inside cloudinary secret make sure that the name of the keys are correct that you are using here and here are matching otherwise you will get some problem now we need to also import the busboy package that we'll be using for streaming the files so here let's start writing the logic for uploading the file to cloudinary so users are going to stream the files to our server and from there we'll stream that files to the cloudinary server so here we'll start writing our function here we are creating a function naming it as stream and upload it will be an async function here we are going to accept request and response pass to this function and then we'll wrap it with try catch to handle any exception in case of error we'll simply return res.status 400 with json error cannot upload file inside try here we are creating a variable content type where we need to pass the content type from our front end and it will be present in headers so it will be present in content type and then will match if there is no content type or content type does not match multipart form data in that case will return unsupported content type since we'll be uploading the file using form data for that it will be a type of multipart form data and next you will be using this busboy package first here inside busboy we need to pass the busboy config here we can simply pass our request headers and now our busboy bb is ready here first we'll start by busboy on file will receive name stream and info we can simply get the file name and mem type here if you want you can add some validations like which type of extensions you are going to be allowing you can simply add that validation here and next here we are creating a upload stream const variable here we'll call cloudinary.uploader.uploadstream here we need to pass options and a callback so in options we need to pass upload api options here we can pass the folder name where we are going to be uploading the files and resource type for this we are using auto there are this four resource type you can use anyone for this i am using auto and next in the callback you will get error or, or result if there is an error in that case we'll first log the error and then we'll return the status in json that file not uploaded else if we are getting the result then we'll print the result we'll return res.status 200 json and the result dot secure url and here we are receiving the stream but we have not yet passed this function to our stream so here we'll create stream.pipe and we'll pass the upload stream function to it and now on finish we'll just print that our file was uploaded here we'll use request.pipe to pass our buzzbar function it means that we are passing the stream from our request to our node server and from our node server we are passing it to cloudinary now this is all done now we need to call this function so for this here we'll create one more route it will be app.post slash upload here we'll be getting request and response we need to also import the function that we have recently written that is stream and upload it will be from cloudinary functions.js and here we need to pass that function stream and upload here we need to also pass request and response just pass it now it's done for the api testing i'm using this extension eco api for vs code because thunder client does not allow us to pass 
images here let us just create a new request here it will be our local host 3000 and we need to make sure that we have done we need to pass the content type as multi-part form data so inside our headers we need to pass the content type as multi-part form data this one and in our body it will be a type of form data here it will be a type of file if you are not getting this option just make sure that this parameter type required is enabled otherwise this option will not be visible let's name the key as file and here we can pick any file let's upload this image let's send a request here we are getting some error because the route was slash upload let's send now you can see here it's showing file uploaded and here we are also getting the url now if we check the console you will find that this was the result that we received after we have uploaded the file public id version id signature name resource type and the url and the secure url in this case we are just returning the secure url this one now currently you can see that here it's not showing the folder just refresh now here it's showing the uploaded files folder and the image that we have uploaded this one and we can also view this image like this we can upload any file type like it can be a video if you want now this has been also uploaded this is the URL and we can also view this video now let's write the logic for deleting the file from cloudinary storage here we are creating a function delete file and you will be passing request and response we'll wrap it with try catch in case of any error we'll simply return cannot delete file and also log the error we'll be asking the public id from our front end from request.body and if public id is not present we'll simply return status 400 with json bad request else we will create a result variable and call cloudinary uploader.destroy public id and we'll return the result so here let's just call the function delete file and this will be app.post slash delete here we'll re pass request response and then we'll call delete file and then we'll pass request and response here i have not used any kind of odd middleware but in your real life production scenario you should be using an odd middleware otherwise anyone can access the endpoint and anyone can delete or upload images on your cloudinary storage so just add an odd middleware now let's test this endpoint for this again open eco api let's send a request this time it will be localhost slash localhost 3000 slash delete and here inside our body it will be raw here we need to pass the public id this one and for this let's just copy the public id like this and paste the public id and send it here it's giving us the result ok it means that the file will be deleted let's try to refresh now you can see that this file got deleted if we refresh you can you will find that this file does not exist so that's all for this video now i hope that you will be able to integrate cloudinary with your node.js application for more node.js tutorials subscribe and thanks for watching